guys, it's Joey O'Rowan and today's subject is going to be called Witchy Power. Um, I debated making this video and I decided in the end I'm going to have to and try and keep it balanced. Um, there's been a lot of videos around that have been bothering me and I left it and left it and left it and thought, well, I think I need to say something now because it's starting to, to bother me. Um, so. I'm going to talk about the concept of power, the misinterpretation of power, um, and then discuss it in within the realms of religion and spirituality and being a witch. So to start with, let's talk about the concept of power, which is usually given negative connotations. And people sort of just tend to think of it as the corruption of power, the misuse of power, the abuse of power. And those are negative aspects of it, of course. Um, but I wanted to discuss it in more generalised terms and try and give a sense of balance, which I have not yet seen with this as addressed to witchcraft and in general. So let's first consider the concept of being powerful versus the concept of being powerless. Now, both concepts are often thought of as being negative. And to look at both concepts as being solely negative is to deny them a balance that we should apply to everything within life and that we should seek within ourselves and without. So, the idea of being powerful is, is seen so negatively because of the abuses of it, because people um, use it to lie, um, use it to gain dominion over other people, to enforce their will on other people against other people's wishes, of a, of a misplaced sense of wanting to feel powerful, when that's not really what power should be about. Consider having the power to fight injustice. Consider having the power to have the freedom of speech, the power to be able to vote, the power to govern your own life, the power to make your own decisions, to not be in a powerless position as people in history have been. People without any ounce of power, of self-power, are considered to be slaves. They are people who are items, objects, considered these things by the people that have enslaved them. In modern society, slavery is considered abhorrent and morally wrong. Therefore, to have a sense of self-power is not. Consider the word empowerment, to become empowered. It is not considered a negative term. To empower yourself, to be able to be free is a sense of power within yourself. The problem with power is when people start getting delusions of grandeur and start abusing any um, power that they get and that usually stems from a fear of or previous experience with feeling powerless. They say that bullies often um, become bullies because they have been bullied themselves. They have um, felt how it feels to be the victim, to be powerless and they then r rather than um, deal with it and ingest it and bec become better from it they turn into the thing that they themselves um, hated at some point. <sighs> and I also want to throw in here as well the image of a powerful woman. Sorry, guys, for the for the time being. But um, in you know in feminism and in modern society, it is considered a. Um, and by me as well, it is considered a desirable thing for a woman to have a sense of her own power, to not be ruled over by 
anybody um, to be free to make her own decisions, to be free to make choices. And you can apply that to men as well. And you can apply that to humanity. That sense of empowerment to be free, to be um, able to speak and act as you will. And the problem further down that line comes with how people choose to exercise that power. And that is a different subject. That is the moral compass of each individual, not the power um, to do so. So I think I wanted to cover those aspects of ideas of self-power before I went on to discuss things that have been bothering me that I've seen on YouTube and in, in other places as well, where um, witches and pagans, excuse me, have um, been accused of, and there have been some people who are claiming to be pagans and witches who sort of basically abuse the idea of power, um, create a negative veil around the whole thing, you know, the, the, the lying, the hate, the gossip that's all attached to this idea that these people seek power and it's wrong and that's all they care about. So before I get into that specifically, I want to mention something else that seems to be getting lost in um, the videos surrounding the pagan community on YouTube in particular, is that yes, there are people who behave in ways which we may well consider immoral or questionable or uneducated or against what we believe should be, against our own moral compass, against what we believe a witch should be, etc, etc, etc. That's not the exclusive realm of the pagan community on YouTube or otherwise. There's been a lot of, oh, there's so much bitching in paganism. It's a bad place. It breeds negative. Well, sorry, but that is humanity. People in general, in every religious walk, and walks completely secular outside of spirituality, are exactly the same. If you don't believe me, here are two realms which I have personal um, interest in and connection with that I have seen and therefore can talk about. The first one is music videos. This is really, really easy. Go have a look at music video comments on YouTube. Music videos in general having nothing to do with spirituality and religion. I this morning saw all these comments on Christina Aguilera's new video. Um, which had absolutely zero to do with the fact that she was a singer or her song or the video and were all about her weight. There were comments like Pig Tina. Um, she doesn't look like a uh, pinup. She looks like she's eaten pinups. Um, why is she so fat now? And you look at the video and you think if she's fat, I'm a woman who has is still struggling with weight loss and my weight loss has been caused by personal trauma so uh, my weight gain sorry my weight gain where I am weight wise has been caused by personal trauma trauma in my life and so to um, attack the, the overweightness is basically a psychological physical and emotional battle for me and it's hard for me so when I see comments that call Christina Aguilera, who's probably a size UK size 10 maybe, then she looks beautiful if you ask me, calling her a pig and fat, and it's coming from the fact that people are trying to belittle her as a woman. Um, put these realms in place where they're jealous and they want to make her, bring her down, make her feel powerless because she's in a position of money, wealth and fame, which has more power and status associated with it. So that's one. And another realm which I have um, experience with is the realm of the gamer. And you can go see on gamer forums and things like this. Um, I play online with some of my some of my games and I do this, uh, it's like a, a thing I do with my gnome. 
Um, we play online games together and you want to see some of the comments that people say about each other and put in forums. One of the first terms I ever came up against was the term noob. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it basically means newbie, which in itself um, isn't a necessarily negative term until you hear how people use it. And it's basically, um, it's not just about being inexperienced, it's, it's basically calling somebody stupid or thick or um, bad at the game. It's basically a word thrown with venom in a, in a term which outsiders would think was fairly harmless to make people upset, to hurt people, to make people feel bad. Very much the same as the way the term fluffy has been um, bastardised within uh, Witch and Wiccan realms. On its own, people would be like, well, newbie doesn't sound like a term to be um, offended about, and nor does um, fluffy. But when you understand the context of it, then you can understand that it's designed to hurt, basically. Um, and so these are two realms completely separated from paganism and Wicca, where you can see the exact sort of exertions of power, trying to feel more powerful over people, trying to assert authority over people and make people feel bad, um, which have absolutely nothing to do with paganism or Wicca or any religion. That being said, there are other realms of religion and you will see people um, abusing others within their religion and without, you know, it, it happens in all forms of religion. You have judgments, you have name calling, you have gossiping, you have bitching and it doesn't matter what path there is, there is the unfortunate negative side of human behavior, the human psyche that needs to exert its own um, pettiness and negativity and feeling bad and trying to make themselves feel better by making others feel worse. And that is an unfortunate side of humanity which will not be eradicated ever because it will exist. Um, hum humans are flawed. Human beings are flawed and fallible and I don't think you can ever get rid of it within any society. So let's talk about um, concepts of power within um, spirituality and religion. Firstly and foremost, as any real witch or um, priestess or priest of any religion um, should know that these practices, your self-empowerment comes from a relationship with the, the divine or deity, whom that deity or divine may, may be through your eyes as your own personal business. Um, spirituality and divinity all comes from the same place. It's just how we interpret it. And the way I've always seen it is that the world is a huge, diverse place. There isn't one path for everybody because people are different. Um, people need different things. People um, see the world in different ways. And that's why there are many, many different varieties of religion. And that should be celebrated, basically. Um, because one way doesn't work for everybody. The same as we don't all like the same foods or we don't all like the same musics. What we have to um, realise is that the way that in which we celebrate divinity is a personal experience. And one of the arguments against religion full stop is, is sort of the opposite of delusions of grandeur. It's um, delusions of inferiority that humans have this need to placate themselves and lessen themselves um, before divinity because they're not good enough and it's putting themselves down. I, I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that. Um, but the whole point is that we, as witches, as any religion, we humble ourselves before the power of the God. 
of the goddess, of spirit, of divinity, of however you want to put it. We are putting their will above our own. We acknowledge that they have all the power and we follow them. So in, in a way, searching for power within a religion seems to me to be a bit of an oxymoron. It seems a bit like going against the very thing that you should be searching for. Again, human beings are fallible. They fall down, they make mistakes. Um, so um, as a witch, the concept of um, self power can mean many different things to many different people. And I'm going to explain what it means to me. To know and to understand oneself and to gain complete and complete dominion over our own selves. To gain power over ourselves, our actions, and to accept the ginormous responsibility of moral self-government is a huge responsibility that I believe comes with the path of being a wick. Uh, wick? <laughs> with being a wick, I sit in a candle, <laughs> I'm on fire, it actually it kind of works with the symbolism. With being a witch, or um, I mean I have a large aspects of wick and uh, wicker within my path, which is constantly evolving. I'm looking into Celtic um, witchcraft as, it, as things are up in a minute. That is a self governed path. That to me is more responsibility than a lot of other religions that tell you um, these are your, uh, this is the dogma, this is the doctrine, this is what you should do, this is where you should worship, this is um, a list of things you should believe in. This is stories that you should believe in, um, you shouldn't question. And to me, that is putting the power in the hands of a few rather than being your own priestess and governing your own um, moral obligations. Now, for me, I understand the problem. The problem is that some people don't hold themselves to a higher moral compass with being a witch. And um, to be honest with you, I think it's a really dangerous path to follow to not govern your own actions your own um behaviors to engage in negative behaviors and without balance without positivity without love without generosity of spirit without following the real dictations of goddess basically you are giving into your own ego and seeking out power and dominion over others you are abusing your own power is a really dangerous thing and you are only I'm gonna sorry but you're only gonna end up getting bitch slapped by the universe and the people you know you can usually see it because they are surrounded by negativity and chaos to seek and harm to other people is only gonna rebound and, see, and cause harm to you and yours in my opinion um, some people will say that the um, Wiccan uh, read do as thy wilt and har any harm none is foolishness and I sort of think why would you seek to harm anybody seeking to harm other people probably comes from a feeling of powerlessness feelings of hatred and anger and whatever towards anybody else is because it comes from somewhere along the line having felt powerless and needing to assert yourself in any way shape or form against other people there is nothing wrong with seeking to empower yourself through your relationship with the, the divine as witches we um conjure up a, a cone of power it's called when we um engage in ritual and spell work this is done in ways of um, clapping, chanting, humming, singing, uh, stamping your feet, dancing, all of which are considered forms of worship. Um, and then that power is released into spell work to ch change the energies, to affect change in your favour or to petition the universe, to petition divinity for what you need. That again is you raising your own power, giving of your own power to 
to the divine to request something. Does that sound like power and dominion over everything? No, it's not power over the situation. It's not power over um, the universe. It is petitioning. It is humbling yourself and giving of yourself to petition for something. And when that comes back, if that does come back, um, the correct um, form to, uh, is of praise and thanks. Our altars, when, especially when specific altars, are honish, honouring and worshipping of aspects of the divine, if not a matron or patron goddess specifically. They are something we put our power and energy into in praise. It is not seeking power over other people. And when power is sought, it is not about spirituality and religious path. We can I can't honestly sit stand here and say sit before you and say that people do not seek power through religious means because they do. People throughout history have used religion against other people in all religions because I can I can list them off um, to interfere in ways which are usually not about religion and spirituality it is used as a tool because they know people put their heart and soul into religion because people believe wholeheartedly in something um, and then people use that to abuse it in other ways and usually the ways that they are abusing it have little if anything to do with religion and it becomes blindly following which is against um, the mandates of the witch's creed it's against the wiccan um read it's against um the rules of, of a witch there are rules which have been put into place to um govern witchcraft because witchcraft is so um open and is so there because it is about the moral beliefs of a person, of a human being, to f act in such a way. And it is based, witchcraft is a tool, okay, a tool attached to religion. Um, and as people will, some people will use this for greater good. Some people will try to use witchcraft to. Um, better themselves and better the world around them um, to affect change in the world um, and I know an awful lot of witches involved in an awful lot of causes I know um, witches who are involved in animal rights I know witches who are involved in charity work I know witches who are um, caregivers who are involved in caring professions and all of this stems from um, this deep-seated belief um, to better themselves and the quality of life for others and the world around them. So as I was going to say before, some people of course in all walks of religion abuse the power that is given to them. This is why I have shied away from a lot of religions which put their power um, in the hands of a few. So you have to be in this building on this day to worship. Don't believe in it. You have to donate money to this organisation. Don't believe in that. Um, you cannot have a relationship with the divine yourself. You have to go through a priest. Don't believe in that. You can only go through this organisation. Don't believe in that. And that's why witchcraft and Wicca and all these things spoke to me because it is a personal um, relationship. It is speaking with them one on one. And anybody who is truly into this knows that the divine doesn't brook any bullshit. You have to better yourself. You have to commit yourself to the path of becoming a better person. Ugh. So the people who blindly follow um, one person end up in a cult. This isn't a religious um, gathering of people. 
This is the blind worship of one individual, usually, who needs has the need to assert power over other people, usually to their abuse, detriment and death. The psychology of cults, if you haven't looked into it, is something well worth being aware of. You can go online and see a checklist of actions and behaviours um, that form a cult and how dangerous it is. It's basically the complete taking away of power of the followers so that one person has complete power over them. And that is the abuse of power. And I would even say it's not about power is about control complete and utter control and that is the difference between the idea of seeking power and the idea of seeking control to seek power within yourself is is to control yourself to better yourself Unfortunately, we live in a world which is all about materialism and often people associate one with the other. To be powerful is to be wealthy. Well, it's different. There are wealthy people who have no power. Um, there are <coughs> powerful people who have limited amounts of wealth. If you want to think of it in a spiritual sense, think about people like Gandhi, um, who have huge power over the hearts and minds of people. Excuse me. I'm going to round off because I'm getting a little bit worked up and I don't want to get upset about it. Being a witch, I go and watch my other video about what I believe a witch to be, okay? Um, if you haven't already. The, being a witch is a huge responsibility. It's not about dominion over men and women. <sighs> Paganism is the worship of nature, of God and goddess in balance, and the worship of the world around us, of the elements, of the, the energies that flow through nature, of the seasons, of the turning of the wheel, of the giving back for this wonderful gift of, in, you know, magic is the use of energies. Um, in a lot of spell books, there are key things that are there because they sell, right? Love spells being the major one and then followed up by negative stuff, hexing, um, cursing. There is a whole web of discussion and debate about cursing and love spells for that matter, but cursing and the hexing and blah, blah, blah. The affecting of um, against somebody, you know, the forcing of your will onto somebody else's will. Now, the way I see it is this. If you would not do this to somebody in life, you should not be doing it in spell work. And I believe with every ounce of my being that consequences will find you if you keep engaging in negative behaviours. Whether or not you believe somebody to be a witch is something you should fully consider. You shouldn't tell anybody. You shouldn't push your judgment onto anybody because that's engaging in you trying to force something onto somebody else, which is, you know, trying to enforce your will and opinion, trying to overpower someone else. But look with your heart. Is what someone is preaching witchcraft? Do you know what witchcraft is? A real, I hate saying this word, like a real witch. I hate it, but a real witch doesn't seek power and dominion over other people because they humble themselves before the god and the goddess who are mother and father to whom? Everybody. To 
claim dominion over other people is to go against the whole point of being a witch. To believe in balance between light, light and dark isn't to go full off down one end, full off down one end, because neither is positive. It is to understand the balance of life, nature, God, goddess, male, female, and apply that to life. And somewhere in this whole thing is the concept between powerful and powerless. Meet in the middle. To seek power within yourself dominion over yourself to the embetterment of yourself and others is to empower yourself which is positive no one would argue against that but there's a line between arrogance and self-empowerment and arrogance isn't power corruption isn't power it's corruption <laughs> it's human nature so whew. Being a pagan isn't about seeking power in its corrupt form. Being a witch isn't about dominion over other people. It's not about negative behaviours. It's not about justifying your behaviours. It's not about using spell work just to get what I want and I don't care about anyone else. Really? No. If you really look into witchcraft, if you really research, if you really meditate, if you do all those things, um, then if you really look into it, then you come to realise that it's only the... It's uneducated to believe that. There is enough negative connotations without knowing what they're on about being applied to witchcraft, paganism, etc. Without the perpetuation of this by people within the craft and people judging the craft. And it's just... It, it bothers me. Because it is damaging the community. It is damaging people who are like, well, I was interested, but maybe um, maybe it's all negative. Maybe it's not about um, nature like I thought it was. And that's damaging to the whole community. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I probably have a hundred and million one other things that I wanted to say, but... I just, it's just basically pleading people with, you know, from all walks, including witchcraft, but not exclusive to witchcraft, to just stop it. Stop judging others. Look in. Look inward. Walk your own path and leave others to there. And stop, you know, don't try and enforce what you believe on anybody else because that's just a misuse of your power, of the youtube of anything it's just it's not it's not positive and we need more positivity and and love really so that's it for today many blessings